So let's talk about education. I know that's an area that uh, you, was particular interest when you were governor, and, and in light of technology, uh, how do you see you know, the new technology interacting to make our education system work a little better? Well, I think we need to take it to the next level, frankly, to free teachers from the drudgery so they can do the fun part of teaching. But if you can do, for example, online homework, the kids do it online, they answer the questions, it goes into the school's computer the next morning, the teacher comes in, they're all scored, they can see how everybody's doing, they can see, oh yeah, all my kids got the, they got the subtraction problems, but they missed the multiplication problems, so let's spend some more time on multiplication. You can target your teaching much more effectively. The test should be a diagnostic tool instead of just an assessment tool. Um, my context, as you know, I'm with Walsh Education, and we're we're focused on K-12 education. So there's been a lot of good discussion about technology and especially it tends to focus on one-to-one -one interaction between a student and a computer or a device or a website. It's, uh, it's a way to remove drudgery from the teacher's day-to-day -day job. But my, my uh, concern and my question is, what's your perspective on developing and promoting tools to facilitate the student-teacher interaction in a standards-based classroom and to remove some of the drudgery of the teacher's everyday work removed from the student-teacher simple interaction that, that we focus on today. When, when I talk to teachers who have used the laptop project, the most common term, the most common word they use is engaged. And if you have students who are engaged, you can teach them anything. If you have students who are looking out the window, you could be Thomas Jefferson and, and, and Socrates and not teach them anything. Then the students, by this mysterious process, take ownership of their own education. Because ultimately, that's what you want, is you want students who are, who are saying, wow, that's cool, I didn't know that. You know, and they, they touch on the, on the picture of the whale, and it suddenly comes to life and swims. You know, it's, it's Harry Potter's moving pictures book. The, the innovative industry in this country is in dire need of highly, technically highly educated people. So uh, from your perspective, what do you think the political leadership could do to uh, encourage or incentivize students to take up uh, disciplines such as technology, engineering, science, math? Frankly, I don't think we've done a good enough job communicating to young people what, what's out there. Part of that is the kids have all been told you have to go to college and it's not cool to work with your hands and I think we need to be thinking about the fact that, you know, these are really good jobs. Maybe they, take, they do take some level of technical training because they have to run CAD machines and those kinds of things, uh, but they don't necessarily require a, a four years of college. The other thing is, you know, I think the society gets what it values, and we have to value more these, these kinds of disciplines. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe if engineers made more than investment bankers, this problem would go away. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but th that that would be that would be way I would look at. <laughs> how does Maine prevent brain drain, or how does Maine encourage its students to stay in Maine rather than seek opportunities elsewhere? I think the first thing is economic opportunity. I mean, people are going to leave as they have throughout history to find better jobs, and if we can develop the kind of economic opportunity with companies like National Semiconductor here or Fairchild, or IDEX, or uh, some of the companies that are growing up in the Bangor area and around the, around the state. Oxford. That's the best thing, Oxford Networks, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> my, my son Matt here didn't have to leave, you know? Uh, but yes, absolutely. Um, so keep creating the, that kind of opportunity.